We're with the three different organizations and programs, we're trying to see what's the best possible way to implement this. How can we teach our indigenous young people to get them excited and be inspired with solar energy? The way I see it, if we really incorporate experiential education and, and um, combine it with what Karina and uh, Eric are, are doing in the classroom, imagine the impact it would have with young people. My name is Ben Sosi. I work for the National Indian Youth Leadership Project. I've been invited to a solar training this week here in Hoopa Valley. I'm here representing NIYLP. I'll be collaborating with Trees Watering People and also We Care Solar. My part in all of this is to see if we can, if I can inspire young people and make them think about a healthier future. share our expertise from each of these different entities in our YLP, TWP, and also We Care, in hopes that the young people can really gravitate towards um, a cleaner world, cleaner resources, using better energy, using the sun, using the wind. My name is Manuel Matz. I'm a Hoover tribal member. I've been um, living here most of my life. Other than jobs, I know there's definitely a sustainable aspect about um, getting into this kind of work. Like uh, reducing our dependence on fossil fuels definitely comes to mind. <laughs> but being able to generate your own energy, I think, really gives weight to us being a sovereign nation and being able to stand on our own two feet. And I think that is also a crucial aspect about it as well. My name is Anthony Matz. I'm a Hoopa and Talawa and German descent. I've uh, lived here all my life uh, for 52 years. The, the program itself um, I see is uh, uh, doing a good job because for one it gives the, the people there uh, that have a low income. Another thing, uh, it uh, educates our youth here who don't really have a lot of opportunities. Uh, you know, maybe in a less than a decade or so all we're going to know is solar energy or solar power. So you're just going to know that the sun powers my house, the sun warms my water. And so they're, they're going to know that and the, the education that they learn here is just going to help them succeed in, in that world. We're trying to reconnect our young people back to the earth so they can understand that we can't trash this place anymore. Resources are going away. Plant life is going away. The animal life is going away. We've got a lot of people taking this world for granted. We want to make sure that they understand the importance of um, the natural world. It's our biggest, our greatest teacher.
We don't need to dig in the earth anymore. We got plenty of energy out here in the uh, atmosphere. We got the wind, we got solar. So that's why we're here to introduce all these concepts to young people and that they have a vital role, they have a big responsibility that's gonna be placed on them. Hopefully they'll accept that.